In part 1 of this video, I drew this old truck using pens on paper. After I finished the paint drawing, I scanned it and imported the digital version into Procreate for iPad. Let's paint this old truck now. You can find the link to the part 1 above and also in the description below. I have imported the pen sketch as a new layer in the Procreate file. This will be our line work layer. We will begin by creating a new layer and moving it below the line work layer. Set the blending mode of the line work layer to multiply. All the color layers will be placed below the line work layer. Choose a brush without a prominent texture like round brush or flat brush. Choose a light green color and set the brush size to large. Make sure the new layer below the line work layer is selected. Now lightly begin painting the grassy area in the foreground and behind the truck. Don't worry if a little color spills into the truck line work. We can correct it later. Choose a shade of blue and begin painting the sky. I am using a custom brush for this but you may use any non-textured brush like round brush or flat brush. I will now speed up the video a bit. I have added some patches of white color in the sky and lightly blended them using the blend tool. This has created a nice cloud effect. Create a new layer just below the line work layer. We will use this layer to paint the trees. Use a dark green color to paint tree silhouettes and use patches of light green and paint some highlights on these trees. Now add some patches of yellow to create even brighter highlights over the trees. Select the darkest color in the trees again and paint the tree foliage such that the upper edge of the truck bed is clearly visible against these dark values. Then apply some highlights to these dark patches by selecting the light green and yellow colors. Let's rename the layers to something logical. As the number of layer grows, it's difficult to keep track of what each layer's function is. It's a good practice to logically name the layers. It takes only a few seconds now, but will save hours of your time later. Create a new layer for painting the basic colors of the truck. We will name this layer base color. Keep this layer just below the line work layer. Select a darker shade of blue. I have chosen cyan blue here which is visually different from the sky color we used. Select a textured brush. You may use a brush like Salamanca, Nikorul or Tamar or any brush of your choice if you have a custom brush set. Begin lightly painting the body of the truck. Since this is a weather beaten old rusty truck, the colors will not be so uniform. Keep the colors scattered and uneven. Add some green to the truck bed. Add some light brown to the truck body and the bed. I have used the same rusty brown to paint the tire rims but for the tires themselves I have used a light violet color.
create a new layer above the base color layer and rename it as color shades this is the layer where we will do the detailed coloring I am using an opaque brush to paint within this layer. You may use any textured brush of your choice. While choosing a darker value, I make use of the base color. Choose the base color first and then choose a darker shade of the same color. Paint over the truck body using the new color selected. Observe the direction of my paint strokes. They are along the curve of the truck body and not just flat. I am also varying the pressure so that I can get a textural effect. Keep painting various parts of the truck body using the same color and brush. Use more pen pressure in the shadowy areas and less pressure in the lighted areas. If you are liking this video, could you please press that like button below and give this video a thumbs up? Also consider subscribing to the channel if not done already. You may also want to check out my book Expressive Digital Painting in Procreate where I will teach you to do digital painting in an expressive painterly way. This book is available in English, German, French and Spanish languages on all major online retail stores. And now back to the video. Keep adding the dark brown color to the various parts. Don't hesitate to paint over some of the underlying color. But also make sure that the underlying color is not completely obscured by the new color. Choose an orangish reddish hue. The rust over the truck will contain many tints of warm colors like red, orange, yellow and brown. Add these tints to the parts where you have painted with brown. Use less pen pressure to make sure no one color dominates.
observe how darker shades are useful in emphasizing the contours of the main subject also observe how i am adding some warm colors to the interior part of the rim of the rear tire this part will be metallic and thus have warmer use this also visually differentiates the metallic rim from the rubber tire Choose an even darker shade of brown and keep adding texture to the truck. Use your intuition for painting. There are no set rules for such expressive painting and there are less chances of going wrong. And you can always undo an action if you do go wrong. Now we will add some yellow to the rusty mix. It's a good practice to keep checking which layer you are currently painting on. I have lost countless hours and mental peace over my mistake of painting in the wrong layer. You will notice that adding bright yellow over various parts has created an illusion of smoothness and reflecting light over some parts. add some darker blues to create some variation add some dark values to the windshield even though the windshield is made of transparent glass the glass has corroded and become dirty after being exposed to the elements for so long we will create this dirt effect on the glass using brown color use a similar hue to paint the half visible interior of the truck body try out different colors like brown blue and violet use these darker values to emphasize the elements like rear view mirror which are in the bright sunlight
Add dark blue to the parts which are in shadows. Choose a smooth non-textured brush like round or flat brush. Keep the opacity low and choose a dark green color. Use this combination to paint the shadows over the truck bed. The front facing part of the truck bed will be in deep shadow while the parts facing the viewer will be in bright light but will have some shadows due to the thick upper slat. Add very dark shadows to the parts of the truck near the ground. Add some orangish hues above the dark brown patches on the truck bed to make them visually better appealing.
Now choose a non-textured brush and select a slightly darker blue. Use this to paint the shadows on the blue part of the truck body. Also use some on the tire rims. Keep adding dark color until the shadows have a stark contrast against the lighter parts. Adding such vertical lines along the door creates an effect of water droplets which have flowed through the accumulated dirt and later dried. This is a nice textural effect. Make sure you don't cover the entire white area with color. We still need some white space to indicate bright highlights of the still shiny metallic parts. Blue and orange are complementary colors, meaning they pop each other out when placed next to each other. You can clearly see this contrast here. 
Now keep adding more shadows and highlights as per the guidelines we already discussed. I will speed up the video for some time and come back when the next major step is required. We will add one layer just below the line work layer and above the color shades layer. We will name this layer highlights. We will use this layer to add highlights. Choose a bright yellow color and begin painting some highlights on the surfaces facing up. Keep adding shadows and highlights on the layers applicable. Now that the colors are ready, we will create one more layer. Note that this layer is above the line work layer unlike the earlier layers. We will use this layer to add finishing touches. Choose white color and add some stark highlights and finishing touches. Use the white color to tidy up and emphasize the edges.
We will also use a bright yellow hue later to do this tidying up. From this point onwards, it's up to you how many more finishing touches you want to add. You will find more information about expressive digital painting techniques in my book Expressive Digital Painting in Procreate available in English, German, French and Spanish languages. I hope you enjoyed this video. If yes, please press the like button below and subscribe to my channel if not done already. And don't forget to press the bell icon to receive notifications whenever I publish a new video. You can find out more about my books and my video trainings on my website useandtones.net. Happy painting.